And this time I'll press record as well, cause... Why not? No, we already heard that. I was... Like, there we go. I, I miss Chef in South Park. <laughs> yeah. So they put something in Metal Gear Solid, well, Metal Gear 2, that is totally not canon anymore at this point. <laughs> That's kind of shitty. Yeah, you'll have that. Well, I mean, it's just like, uh, Metal Gear 1 when we save. Ray Fox, and then we're gonna go to Zanzibar, and we're gonna have to fight Gray Fox. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then we're gonna have to fight Gray Fox again in Metal Gear Solid. Yeah. But like, we we saved Gray Fox. <laughs> it's just yeah, it's it's just a weird. Like I said, like Metal Gear just didn't seem like it was meant to have a sequel or a prequel to it. The only reason it did was because Ultra made Snake's Revenge and Kojima was like, nope. So, yeah. You did that right out the door. <laughs> so, this is all Metal Gear music, and I'm gonna guess this is from. From uh, Ghost Babble, but this does not sound like a Metal Gear song at all. <laughs> of course, this is gonna be good, my Alan Lex. Actually, I don't, a very a ghost, I don't know if this is a Ghost Babble song. I can't see right now because it only shows me the composer. Oh, 
so I'm not sure. Could be from so it it is Metal Gear's music, but I'm not sure which one it's from at this point. <laughs> but it's a weird song. <laughs> oh it is. It is from Ghost Babble, yeah. Yeah. I just looked it up. I yeah. thought so, yeah. It's hard to ditch out Bob Ross. That's true, but Metal Gear is more important. <laughs> but he'll Bob stay, Ross. sure. You gotta watch season one of South Park like I'm doing right now. <laughs> yeah, for people who missed yesterday's stream, it's already up on YouTube, so it's definitely worth a watch. Well, I guess this is some sort of... <laughs> that's not a song. Space exploration is nothing but another game in the power... Or is it? Between the US and the USSR. Politics... Probably not. Let me skip it. Metal Gear USSR, man. Must be MGS3. Yeah. No, no, we're dropping frames. It was Metal Gear, yeah, but I think maybe it was a recording or something instead of actual music. That's a thing when you download these soundtracks off so far. It's like number one, number two, number three. How am I supposed to know what they are? Oh, Power Up With Pride just announced their, uh, their marathon this year. Is that a meetup one? No, no, no. Uh, Power of Pride is the uh, online June one. Yeah. I missed you. <laughs> Good evening. June 12th to the 14th. Submissions open April 5th. So. Hmm. There we go, Mo. We can race Trip World. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> and you can beat me by two seconds again. Probably something like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not liking these frame drops, which you don't see right now, of course, I, because nothing is happening on screen. I usually get a lot of frame droppage at the start of stream, and I usually have to change my NGS server. Of course I'm wearing the bandana. He's wearing a banana. Otherwise I can't play Metal Gear. It's true. <laughs> I would not like to be wearing this all day, though. It's it's. Is it itchy? No, not really. It's it's just not very comfortable. No, it's not even sweaty either. I liked my headband. It's in my car right now. It's uh. It's like it's a normal cloth, but it's lined with like a like a silk almost, so it doesn't like make my head super itchy and sweaty. Mm -hmm. No, it's it's very good fabric, I must say, but like a, uh, it's nothing for me. Just part of the bit. Um, Solid Snake doesn't have an eye patch. That's big boss. Yeah, he does. Like the eye, the quote unquote eye patch that he has in four is is. Um, like a transceiver thing. Yeah. It's not an actual eye patch. Big boss is not the eye patch. And, and the horn stick there on his forehead. Play me like a damn fiddle. Why are we still here? Just to suffer? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Every night I could feel my leg, my arm, even my fingers. The comrades I've lost. 
the body I've lost to both so pretty now. It's like they're still there. You feel it too, don't you? I'm gonna make them give our pass back. <laughs> it's Phantom <I> Bay. <laughs> that's that's from MGS5, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mo really likes it when I get to say that quote. <laughs> yeah, every day. <laughs> Gameplay, please. You guys come here to hear our voice. <laughs> gameplay. Metal Gear has never been about gameplay. It's true. Well, maybe these two. <laughs> Definitely not the rest. You know what the hardest thing to find right now in the world? Peanut butter. Oh, I thought you were going to say toilet paper, but... <laughs> I mean, that might be, but I don't need toilet paper. I need peanut butter, almond butter, and it's impossible to find. <laughs> Flour and sugar get sold out here, apparently. Uh, bread... Bread, milk, and... Meat. Like, all of the meat gets sold out here. And toilet paper. Yeah. Like some some person in Pennsylvania decided to play a prank at a grocery store and and cough on all of the meat in the store because you know humanity is really good right now. Mm -hmm. And uh, they had a throwaway. I think they said like it estimated like thirty five thousand dollars worth of meat. You're right. And it's like really <laughs> like like because we definitely don't have a quote unquote shortage right now at all. But better to be a dick yeah that's that's the world we live in your car handle was slimy yeah you hate to see that happen oh god <laughs> what right. I do if I if I have to go to the store if I actually have to use a cart or a basket I uh, have a little ziploc baggie of paper towels I cut in half and soaked in isopropylene alcohol and I take those with me. But typically I take my reasonable bags and just use that. You injured your finger and you're pretty sure you have something. That's just you making things up now. Well, I mean, you thinking that you have something while you don't have anything. But yeah. A placebo effect. Yeah. You know, getting scared for nothing. Every, All right. Every... Every morning I wake up and I have really bad allergies, especially now that it's spring. Yeah, me too. So uh, I'm just like, oh, I'm coughing, I have the corona. Or like, oh, I'm sucking in snot, I have the corona. Or, you know, I'm sneezing, I feel like garbage, but it, in reality it's... <laughs> it's the allergies. allergies. Yeah. destroying me. Same with me. Uh, but yeah, here we go. We're, we're back for another round of Metal Gear Mania. Uh, today we'll be playing Metal Gear, well I will be playing uh, Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake for the MSX. Um, this is not the NES game that came out, Snake's Revenge, uh, which I played a few weeks ago. It was a lot of fun, I was glad it lasted more than 5 hours to finish that game. Um, but yeah, this is... Uh, like, Snake's Revenge was not made by Kojima at all, he had no... Uh, <clears throat> no involvement into that project. Um, he didn't even know of it from the start. Uh, but it was made by the team that uh, helped made Metal Gear for MS uh, for NES, the, the port and the MSX version, actually. Um, he didn't like that game much, um, but he had also no plans to actually make a sequel to Metal Gear at all. That's why they actually... Uh, went over his head and, and made their own game. Um, but when he was uh, commuting home one day from the office, he actually ran into the team of people that made Snake's Revenge and worked with him before. And they convinced him during that train ride to actually uh, start making Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake. And yeah, 
he did it yeah. so that that's always nice um this game if you have have had have ever played uh metal gear solid you will see that a lot of this game is actually just copied into Metal Gear Solid. Like, a lot. It's like more than 50%. It's like literally the same. Um, but, yeah, in 2.5D then, I guess. Uh, in better graphics. Uh, if you can call PS1 graphics better, I guess. Um, but there are also some things in this game that... Like, in Metal Gear, which we played yesterday, you can kind of fill in the blanks yourself um like it can be canonical if you want it to be this one has a few things in it that don't really add up anymore uh one of them being uh the final fight against big boss um where like during the game it will get explained that big boss survived because of course the other backstory didn't exist by then um that he survived to to some experiments um called project snatcher where they replaced uh, some of his limbs and organs with cybernetic parts and that's why he's still alive in this one um, of course, now we know that it was actually Venom Snake who got killed in the previous game. Who, weirdly enough, is the one with a prosthetic, so that makes it even more weird. Uh, but yeah, so, so that doesn't really fit into the story anymore. But yeah, now we're actually going up against uh, the real big boss. So. <clears throat> yeah. But uh, yeah, so... Kojima was going to do a PS1 game of Metal Gear, kind of just regardless, because Kojima was actually pretty excited for the PlayStation. But, uh, yeah, we got Metal Gear 2 first instead of MGS1. That's why the two have such overlap with each other, so. Yeah. Well, boot it up. I think there's actually a cutscene at the start of this one. But... Yes, this one will have cutscenes. Yes. <laughs> so... And yeah, I will have some frame drops, sadly. I don't know why. The setting is indeed different. This one takes place in Zanzibar land. Yeah, this game takes place in 1999. This is uh, four years after the first Metal Gear. And this is in, yeah, Zanzibar land where, uh, we're going after Big Boss now, so... Yeah, I believe this game came out in, yeah, 1990, so... Yeah. Right when the Gulf War was happening, which is funny, and there's a connection to the Gulf War with the plot of this game because the Gulf War was heavily, heavily due to oil, and a lot of this game is based off of low oil reserve. So, yeah. and here you can see that Snake actually starts looking like Snake and not Kyle Reese. Yep. And know that it's not Meryl, <laughs> even though she does look a lot like Meryl. Again, Solid has a lot of things to say. Fun, fun fact about the codex sprites that we'll see in this game that with the re-release of Metal Gear 2 they actually use this, the codex sprites from Ghost Babble and color them. <laughs> Alright. In the re-release they do. But in the original, they don't. So... Because Ghost Babble didn't come out until 2000. It's your fa yeah, my <laughs> no, <laughs> no. I 
forget how long this intro was. Yeah, I like it, I like it. I'll start it here. <laughs> This is, like I said, this is a very impressive game. Ooh, that might be a little loud. Oh shit, I accidentally switched off my TV. That's great. Take forever to start that back up. Oh, we have story. Late 1990s, the world is embarking on an age of peace and stability. I did not know there was another scene. Relations between the Cold War superpowers have taught. Regional conflicts are being resolved. The threat of nuclear war is now a thing of the past. Oh, is it? Sure, sure it is. But there are some who do not desire peace. <laughs> An atmosphere of tension begins to build in the Middle East. I don't know if this replays if I start the game or not. It's been 15 years since I played this. Yeah, I don't remember. A military junta comes to power in Zanzibar land, a small nation bordering on the USSR, China, and the Middle East. Zanzibar land attacks nuclear weapons disposal sites around the world. Seizing those weapons that are still intact becomes a world's only and begins to invade its neighbors at will. After renouncing nukes forever, the world is once again threatened by the specter of world's oil supply, which was to last another 30 years, suddenly and unexpectedly dries up. Without a safe alternative source of energy, the world faces a severe energy crisis. And this is why I said this game will be a lot longer. <laughs> It is in these dire circumstances that Dr. Keo Marf, a chess biologist, chess, right? chess? Check. Czech? Czech, yeah. Czech biologist develops Oilix, a microbe that can... Okay, it's gone. He, he developed some. <laughs> With this discovery, global tensions are once again on the rise. On his way to attempt an... I can't read that because it's... Oh, American Scientist Conference. Dr. Marv is kidnapped by agents of Santa Nuclear weapons and the secret of oil, like Zanzibar land, lands to achieve global military domination. It's very good that you have white text on almost white images. A tiny microbe, only a few microns wide, is about to change the world forever. There we go. Let's hope this metal, doesn't really metal clear. All right. Let's see what the ins okay. That's it's just the same I think as the previous game. Oh no, we have crawl in this game. That's right. Yep. Completely forgot about that. So. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, let's, like, yesterday we'll play on easy. It's already gonna be hard enough. This is Snake. I've reached the infiltration point. And here we have our first appearance of Campbell. Snake, right on time as always. Let's get started. Commencing operation intrude F014 or F014. I don't know. I think it's O, but can't be sure. 
Let's go over this one more time. Your mission is to infiltrate Zanzibar land that rescued and kidnapped. What was it again? <laughs> check, check. Bio check. Check? Right. Check biologist Dr. Kiyomar. Snake. We provided you with a new anti-personnel sensor. Try switching it on. Roger. Okay, it's on. And we have a map! The white dots on your radar are enemy soldiers. The red dot is your current position. The radar is equipped with several other types of sensors as well. It should warn you of any unseen dangers. I accidentally skipped. I think. <laughs> That's great. Take a look at your radar display. It shows a 9 screen area centered on your position. However, it may not work in small enclosed spaces. Also, if the enemy spots you, you will be able to use the radar. The enemy will use a jammer to scramble it. Got it. Where can I find Dr. Marv? Well, Dr. Marv has a transmitter implanted in one of his molar teeth. When you get close to him, he'll show up as a red dot on your radar. Lot longer conversations than in the previous game, right? <laughs> so I just have to keep an eye out for a red dot. Snake, use frequency 140.85 for all future communications. Good luck. Over and out. Schneider. Schneider. I'm not like I only see. Yeah, we only have camel for now. Yeah. We we won't get Schneider. Shit. Schneider. Schneider is Black Ninja. No, in this one, did did what this one he did make. <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah, no, Kojima. This is all Kojima right here. Yeah. Do we have any weapon? No, we have cigarettes, of course. That's a, that's a staple in Metal Gear now. Gotta have the cigarettes. Oh. No, this is Kojima. This is completely Kojima. Yeah, this is 100% Kojima. Use crawling to sneak through gaps in the fence. Over and out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Snake's Revenge is not made by... Kojima. But this one is. So yeah, we got ourselves a map. We got crawling. We all got introduced in this game. Uh oh. We have a sweet cardboard box. <laughs> Not yet, but sure. Oh. And apparently they can see you like that. So unlike the previous game where they literally can't see anything. <laughs> to be a little bit more careful in this one. Good start, first alert. And screen transitions don't help. Of course they don't. Man, this alert music sucks. Yeah. At least it shows you how much life you have left. On the alert thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, the other one did too, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, can you guys stop? Okay, alright. Yeah, this also has evasion mode, so we're still not in the clear. Yep. You guys can't see me here. See, he's not here. You're damn right I'm not here. Get out of here. Go. Get. There we go. You can't sneak in through the front door. Use the vents over and out. Huh, you don't say. No, if only I remember where this. Uh oh. <gasps> that was close. Here's a vent. 
And we got... That's the biggest gun I've ever seen in my life. It's only a handgun, you're fine. Trump would be so proud. Yeah. Alright, so we are in... No idea where I have to go, though, but... We are in, at least. Uh, in let's there. Go. We'll find something. Meryl! Well, see? Told you we were gonna find something. Ammo. <laughs> or <gasps> nope. <laughs> that was not where I wanted to be at all. Oh. Well, that's a nice place to be where I can't do anything. Well, let's go back. Oh, now the ammo is... Well, I wanted more rations, actually. Um, I do not remember, but I think in this one you gain life by defeating bosses, like in all the other games. And not by rescuing hostages. Yeah, no, I think the hostages are a little less important in this game. Yeah, I think they're all story-related hostages, nothing like random ones. Yeah. Not random POWs, just walking about. Or not walking, I guess. It's Holly! Holly White! I infiltrated Zanzibar land a month ago, posing as a journalist. So I know pretty much how things work around here. I'll help you any way I can. My frequency is 140.15. Call me later. Let's see if it. Oh yeah, it does. Salt Snake, come in. There's a map in the command room that shows a layout of the entire compound. You should check it out. See ya! This is the only game Polly will make an appearance in. She will never be known again after this. Uh, what is this? Something I can't go into. Uh, not sure where to come. Again, I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, well, this might be something. Oh, door. Oh! Was I supposed to listen into something, maybe? Uh, uh, I'm pretty sure she doesn't have a brother, my help. No, I don't think she does. She's a journalist and a spy, and she's affiliated with the CIA. She actually got caught a while, uh, back in 99. Snake rescues her, and then she tells Snake where Marv's pigeon is, and then she spills the beans on Madnar. I don't think it's a happy new year. Thank you very much for the follow, Cassidia. I think it might be an anthem, but I'm not sure. But it kinda sounded like it. Oop, press the wrong button there. Hi, welcome to the stream. Uh oh, all oh, those are cameras. Uh, all right. So, yes, these things make noise if you walk over them. Yeah, the grates. Still not sure where we're going. We'll figure it out. Uh oh. 
just over here. That's an alumivator. We're not gonna go down that yet. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, we're fine. We're not fine because that guy came in from there. That's so oh well. No, 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 I've done it. No, oh my god. I feel like I'm watching that crazy wait, wait, awesome wait, wait, stream right now. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. You can't see me. They beg to differ. No, I'm not here. Go away. See? Perfect. I swear to God, if that guy comes up. <laughs> <laughs> I have release right now in Animal Crossing. <laughs> I will never get that game. Never. <laughs> I gotta make my garden look cute. You don't see me. Ah, oh, but I can't go here anyways. So, yeah, we don't know where to go. That's, that's, that's where we're at right now. Well, that was quick. Yep. <laughs> Took me a whole 15 <laughs> minutes to get lost. Oh, that guy almost had me. So I can't. I guess we need to take the elevator because I can't go anywhere. Yeah, I'm assuming. I don't. I don't actually don't have a walkthrough open right now, so. Mother! Nope, you don't see me. I'm gone. The best part I about all this where I am. <laughs> is that we, we, we make fun of Crazy Awesome's playthrough of MGS2. <laughs> <laughs> and how many well, alerts have you had in the first Well, this is a little bit play? different, I would say. Oh, okay. Now it's different. Of right. course, because I'm not used to playing this game. <laughs> <laughs> Legs is listening. She's just like, am I editing a podcast episode right now? <laughs> See, I, I, that was perfectly planned. Yeah, I mean, you can crawl under that table, I think. Yeah. Perfectly planned. Yes. Uh, yeah, to, so yeah, up or down. That that's that's, that's a good question. Apparently not down. Up down. Nope. We made it to wherever we are. What's that noise? Fuck you. <laughs> there was no noise. No noise at all. Oh, of course he's looking exactly at me. I should have known. <laughs> should have freaking known. This is not good. This is not good. This is not good. Okay. Oh. Alright. Oh! No! No! Okay, well. At least those guys are not. I can go in here or here. Great. Can't carry anymore. So yeah, the map is nice, but 
can't really see where they're looking at, so... That's... quite the issue. I also have a feeling I totally don't have to be here yet. I'm just gonna run around and see what the deal is with this. Oh, well, here's a ration. That's something. Can't go in here either. Oh, here's a door. Hey! Keycard one! That's progress. And then I die and I lose all my progress, probably. Yeah, yeah, I know you're there. <laughs> if these all count as a as a separate, I mean, you know they're going to. Yeah, probably. Well, I can go in here. Jesus. This is my favorite metal here now. <laughs> There, we got binoculars. You didn't see anything. So we have two different kinds of rations. We got beef, pork, ham and eggs, tuna, fish, chocolate and crackers. That's a weird combo. And this is beans and meatballs, beans and franks, and beef and potatoes. <laughs> I don't know why they're different, but... Fork. I mean, it's, it's a few more variety. I mean, you don't want to eat the same MRE every single time. <laughs> I guess so. Alright. Swear to God, it, there's a guy standing right next to me. So, we got a key card. What's that noise? Nothing. There's no noise. Leave me alone. I do not want to try that. Alright, so back to floor. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to. <sighs> Clouds. That's probably because Nutella is disgusting. That is not true. Uh, I hope I can go in there. Well... Nope. What do you mean, what's that noise? <laughs> We're making so much noise. Well, I can go in here. There's nothing here, go away. Go. There we go. No! He turned around! Of course he turned around. Nothing to see here, guys. Just snake walking by. I still can't go indoors! Okay, I'll just hide here. Nobody saw anything. Right? No, nope, they saw it. Of course they did. I, I saw it. Please, don't make a guy spawn out of me. There we go. Perfect. Best snake ever. But yeah, where are we going? That is a, that is a good question. We made some progress. Can we go in here? We can't go in here either. Jesus Christ. 
<laughs> I have no idea where I need to go. Those were the only doors. Let's call Campbell or something. They must have something to say, right? Alright, Roy, what do you got? Put yourself in the enemy's shoes. Imagine you're the enemy commander or the game designer in charge of guarding that area. <laughs> you might see possibilities you couldn't see before, over and out. What?! That was the least useful thing ever. All the doors here are controlled by computer. They each has a sp Yeah, I know. No! An IC card? This is, this is, oh my god. This is easy mode? Great. <laughs> what is original mode then? Well, you haven't died yet. That is true, but I keep getting seen by stupid things. I can't open any of these doors. So... What is still going on here? Like, I did try this though. Yeah, see, I can't... I I think no strength might be compromised. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think we're gonna get that at all, that's for sure. Definitely gonna get deer again. <laughs> Not even. I'm gonna get the scrub ranking or something. Hey, what is the scrub ranking? Is it rabbit? I don't remember. Oh, I, I have no idea where to go. Unless there's another floor with that elevator, but I couldn't go down. It's a rank, yeah. At this point, it's crazy awesome, right? Why do I have a feel? I feel like there's something here, but I don't know what. I accidentally skipped through all that text. All the doors. Hit yeah, we already heard that. She said something else. There are two elevators in the Zanzibar building. The east elevator stops on floors 1, 2, 3... Oh! There are more floors. So, now we learned a thing. Okay. okay, so there are more floors. Gotcha. a little bit longer before doing that. This is going great. Jesus, it takes a long time for them to be in the okay. Yep, gotta punch these elevators. somewhere new. Ah. Uh-oh. There's a bag there. There are no people in here. That's good. What is that? What is that? Uh-oh. 
Oh god, it's a dead crow. What well, is that? These are definitely infrared thingies that I can't go through yet. I guess it's some kind of radar. Uh oh. Oh shit, there's even more. Yeah. Unless this one actually uses the si It does use the cigarettes. It's... How did it see me? <laughs> what? Because <laughs> you're standing up behind the crates, man. The crates aren't that tall. Oh, I can't. God damn it. <laughs> Everything is going. Unbelievable. This is the best timeline right now. <laughs> Alright, is that thing on again or not? Is that interested now? Don't see it working, so... Uh, okay. A sharply worded tweet, Kojima, right, right about now. <laughs> can I? Can I just crawl under? Like I'm, I'm I don't want to risk it, actually. <laughs> I think you can do a lot of crawling in this game. Yeah, I'm just not sure if you can crawl under these. Let's try it out, I guess. Well, no, nope, like you I'm cannot. <laughs> we learned that we cannot. But so now we, we know, at least. So. So we found a gas mask. That's something. That's progress. Shit. <laughs> nope. Ah, oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> Not fine, I'm still dying. How? I have my gas mask on. I'm kind of confused right now. Well, in the end, it didn't even matter. Just like my compart. Yeah. Alright, more rooms. Let's see. See a guy there? mask just doesn't like it helps but it doesn't okay hello oh it's Marv wonder where Harry is <laughs> foolish fox sounds dr. Marv isn't here figures that fox sound would use such a cheap transmitter you guys are really behind the times oh god it's Schneider it is Schneider, actually. Yeah, it is, yeah. I am Black Ninja, a former member of NASA's Extraterrestrial Environment Special Forces Unit. Let's see how, just how strong the world's most advanced Black Ops unit really is. Show me what you've got, Fox Sounds. Uh -oh. Show me what you get, Snake.
Yeah, so Schneider, a little bit of lore on why Schneider dressed up as Marv. So basically Schneider took the uh, bowler out of Marv that had a transmitter in it and dressed up as him. And that's why we thought that that was Marv. It would be nice if I could hit this fucker. There we go. What a gun. Yeah, I thought it was hand-to-hand -hand combat, but that's just Gray Fox later on, actually. You get that hand cannon now. Well, if he stays in this loop. Oh, he fell. <laughs> Snake! Oh, okay, it's very easy to skip the dialogue in this. It's me, Schneider. Kyle Schneider, remember me? Schneider, you were in the resistance Schneider. at Outer Heaven. But I thought they killed you. Still got a lot to learn, Snake. I was almost killed, but not by them. By you and your country. What are you saying, Schneider? Snake, after you destroyed Metal Gear. NATO launched a massive bombing campaign against Outer Heaven. All of us resistance fires, and the children of Outer Heaven. They didn't care about any of us. There was no escape from the flames. They died like animals in a cage. I... can't believe this. Think about it. The children of Outer Heaven were originally war orphans and refugees from all over the world. They were a liability, and NATO didn't want to deal with them. No. You're no different. They'll forget about you too. But he wasn't like them. Who? He came and saved us from annihilation. He forgave us for what we've done. Gave us a new land to call home. A new family. He did, you mean? Snake, you'll understand soon what a wonderful man he is. Snake, I owe you a debt. There's no hate between us. I'll tell you where Dr. Marv is. Convenient! It's what he would want me to do. Find a man who's guarding the cell where Dr. Marv is being held. Follow that man, and he should lead you straight to this- Well, probably because he's guarding it. Duh. You can tell him by his green beret. Should be on the first floor, got it? Green beret. Follow the man in the green- Yeah, I, I, I understood. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> yeah, like Wash I thought. Niner. Like oh. I thought, you actually level up in this game after defeating the bosses. Card key number two. Now we My probably life. can do a lot of things. Schneider is officially dead now. There's no coming back to life for him. What did you do? I walked out of the door. That's literally all I did. Clearly that door had an alarm system on it. it had a Google Nest. I saw you coming a mile away. Very good. Hey, free ration under the table. I did not know there were items under the table. But that is good to know. Okay. I'm just exploring now because we can probably find a few items here and there. I would assume. Might be wrong. It's true if we do a lot of things under the table. No, I like crawl. We can't go there at all. Shit. Yes, we I'd like any key card three for that one. Yeah. You know, if you just combine key card one and two together, you'll have <laughs> key card three. Yeah, that would be great. <laughs> if only that would work. Well, MGS1 had the colored key cards, that it? it had the blue, the red, the green, and whatever else. Mm -hmm. Like, that one wasn't numbers. And then MGS2 was like, you know what? We're gonna combine all of the cards together. <laughs> Make it just one card. Smart. 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 Smart.
It only took him a hundred years to do it. Yeah. Um. I know we're not gonna do it. We'll just find a dude, I guess. What was it again? I I totally forgot who I'm looking for. The guy with the green beret. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I only yeah. said it like five times. Two Make seconds. sure it's the guy with the green beret. In Not the... red. In before I can't find him at all. <laughs> I do like the loading screens in this game a lot. Like the fox that shoots the bullet around him. I do like the yeah, it's... loading scene a lot. It's not that guy. It's nope, not that that's guy. a red beret. Yeah. And I accidentally respawned that guy, apparently, so just to be safe, I'm gonna go here. <laughs> the girl with the red cap, yeah. That one's not quite green, either. No, it's the same guy. I have to walk back. You don't see anything. <laughs> that was close, actually. <laughs> Let me guess, he's turned around alright? No, all oh, but there is. Still no green berets. But then again, they might be behind the door because now we have a different card. Mo really likes following this one person. No, it's not that. It's that, well, that. That's what I want. Um, camera can't see me. What's his deal? Let's see about it. Let's just check out a wall. Yeah, would be nice if it did. Okay. I mean, sometimes you gotta guard a wall. Well, I'll just... <laughs> just in case. <laughs> I don't understand why they have just so many guards by a door. Like, I don't know if you've ever been inside, like, a military facility there or it not. Is. But, like... Ah. You, don't, you don't have a guard by every single door. <laughs> yeah. That's why I have a green beret that's gray. No, it's green. It's, it's just walking circles, though. Oh no, there he goes. Chat, is that a gray bray or a green bray? That is 100% gray. It is green on my TV, at least. Oh, we snake eater now. Oh, yeah, we are. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's green a bit now. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's just like the color of it, just like up against that gray background, just made it look really gray. That makes sense. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> I love that stupid sound he makes. <laughs> squeak, squeak. After this one, I might actually play Ghost Battle. Because it's in the same vein as these games. Problem is, I'll have to... Probably emulate it. Like, I have the card and everything, and I have... Game Boy player, but... Do you still like play with the GameCube controller? No, I, I can use my Super Nintendo controller for it even, but I just don't like the graphics that uh, that it produces. But well, we'll you, have an S, you have an S-Video cable now. Doesn't work on my GameCube because it's a PAL one. Oh, that's right, y'all went to SCART after Super Nintendo. Yeah. I don't learn ya. That's a game I wish they would, like, 
remaster a bit. Not like a not like a Link's Awakening remaster, but just like a just like a, a nicer port of it. Yeah. Like like what they did with it with these games. Like they don't look like complete garbage as if you were gonna play it on an MSX or the NES. Like they look decent. Like they're sharp. Oh shit! What? Why did he run? Why are you why are you scaring him? <laughs> it's weird how little I remember of this game, to be honest. The only thing I remember of this game is the Gray Fox fight mm -hmm. and the big and the big boss fight. That's all I remember of this game. I don't remember that one either. Gray Fox for sure, but... Yeah, because Gray Fox is just a punching fest. Yeah. Unlike MGS1, where you just lay down claymores and punch him, to f punch him in the face. <laughs> well, that doesn't count, right? Like, I mean, I have no choice. Yeah, I think that was... Well, I see your pistol sucks in this game, too. Yep. Well... We know What's he's that? there. Just not exactly sure what they want me to do here. Don't tell well, me I needed to find plastic explosives before this! I was gonna say there's a hatch right there. Oh, well. No answer from Holly. Do see the hatch here. It's a tap code. They were used to communicate in North Vietnamese POW camps. Before that, they were used during the Korean War. Instructions on deciphering the code should be written in the software manual. Uh oh, thanks! Oh no! Thanks! <laughs> you want me to look up the manual quick? Sure. <laughs> what bullsh bullshit is that? It's a re release and you pull that shit. Probably giving the code for the receiver or something. Oh, dude, the manual for this thing looks sick. Probably. You look it up, me, while I'm gonna uh, lower the blinds, actually. Uh, all in Japanese. There we go, English manual. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll be right back.
All right. All right, so I've had to do a lot of digging for this tap, tap code stuff. <laughs> okay. Um, so the tap code is going to give you a codec. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. Um, so let's see here. With the chart, so... Oh God, where's my tap code stuff at? <laughs> there we go. So here's how to use the chart. For every character, there's a code. You count the taps between the pauses for a coordinate. So if it's like six, six and one, then it's six, the sixth row of first column. So we have to count the taps right now. Jesus. Six, one. Well, it started with 6-1, but... Yeah, well, it's gonna be different, yeah. It's gonna change every time. Oh, that's even worse. It's, it's like Morse code. Also, this isn't in the manual for subsystems, either. It's only in the MSX manual. So that was a two. Six one, six five. What? It's so long. I mean, otherwise, I can just tell you what, this, what the codec is. Four zero eight two. So it's just a two. Yeah, the the first four are. Whoops. This isn't gonna be the first time we have to deal with this. We have to deal with this throughout the game. Yeah, I bring that. Oh, shit. Press the wrong button. No. What? Oh, I keep pressing the wrong button. Eight two. Ah, I see you figured out my code. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for putting that in the game. Yeah, you got a bad nerd. <laughs> Where's Dr. Marv? It's been a while, Solid Snake. Dr. Drago Petrovich Matnor, how did he? Marv and I knew each other from the Prague Academy. We didn't speak each other's language, but we were scientific comrades, after a fashion. I was captured along with Marv while we were in America. Where's Dr. Marv? He was moved from here to the tower building a few days ago. It's a tall building a few kilometers north of here. Damn it, late again. So Marv's in the tower building? Snake, can you guess why they've left me alive? They must need you for something and that me. <laughs> okay, that was slow. <laughs> <clears throat> yes, Metal Gear, Snake. It is here, in Zanzibar land. They've already completed a new Metal Gear. The one you destroyed three years ago was only a prototype. The new improved Metal Gear is many, many times more powerful. <laughs> Excuse me? Oh boy. Yeah, Dr. Madnar just ate a ration. <clears throat> uh, they're also <laughs> working on a light version for mass production. That it was Metal Gear that attacked the new disposal sites. Precisely. 
Metal Gear is a nuclear-equipped walking tank. Its true power is unleashed only when it is armed with nuclear weapons. Zanzibar land now is the only nukes in the world, and now they have their sights set on Oilix, a miracle energy source. Snake, now that you know all this, perhaps you can guess who is behind it. Big Boss. The very same! With Metal Gear and Oilix, he plots to rule the world. We cannot let the secret of Oilix fall into his hands. Science is not meant to be used only for killing. Mars will is strong, but his heart is weak. A heart attack. We must hurry. I don't know how long he can withstand their torture. If they use drugs on him, he won't last long. Marv and I were both carrying microtransmitters inside our bodies. They were given to us by a female agent from STB. Not sure what STB is. Special... Tactical bullshit? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you could get in touch with her if you knew her frequency. Madlar, what are you going to do? The wall separating us is made of... Shabam armor plates. You can't blast your way through it. Just leave me here and go rescue Marv, Snake. Alright, I'll come back for you later. My daughter Ellen is a f Oh, I thought he was gonna say- My daughter Ellen is captured, you need to find her in the basement of building B1. <laughs> my daughter Ellen is a fan of yours, she's not married yet, and I'm afraid of- Oh my god, her- is, oh. is this the Tinder of 1999? <laughs> oh yeah. With, with the codec. Oh, and I have a zoologist friend, Joan Jacobson, who lives around here. You can reach him on frequency 14040. Johan Jacobson. Johan. But uh, STB is Surface Transportation Board. There it's we go. It's an independent federal agency. <clears throat> He'll tell you anything you need to know about animals. This isn't Snake Eater, come on. Snake Eater. Don't worry. I'll make sure you get home in time for your daughter's wedding. Oh, she is getting wow. married. But she ain't married yet. Yeah. Still a wink, wink, wink. <laughs> Thank you, Snake. So let's let's call zoologist guy. Here we go. This is some Snake. Come in. Oh God. Why does Foxhound? <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> Why does Foxhound use animals for code names anyway? Who came up with the idea that animals are so warlike? People, that's who. I just don't get it. Over and out. Well, that was useful. Thank you very much, Jacob. Jacob. Johan Jacobson. Johan. Th thanks, dude. That was very useful. All right, we're out. Our boy Johan here, spit knowledge. Lore about Jacobson, yes, maybe. Oh, you want some lore? I got you some lore. Let me go find my, my stuff here. Jacobson. There you are, Johan Jacobson. Uh... Oh, it makes this a piece of. He has a trading card and social ops. That's fun. Uh, let's see here. Jacobson had, was an academic friend of Dr. Madnar during their college years. He began his career as a member of Greenpeace. Uh, he then worked as a vice chairman for the Society of the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. There we go. And served as a biology advisor for Maxwell Magazine. He had also heard about Foxhound's exploits, although he was curious as to why they used animal code names. Uh, feeling that animals were not inherently warlike. During the time of Operation Intrude F-014, Jacobson was near Zanzibar land conducting research on the desert wildlife of the Middle East. Solid Snake learned his radio frequency from, from Dr. Madnar during his mission and would contact him when dealing with animal-related matters. While discussing these matters, Jacobson would often bring up the topic of food in relation to the subject of conversation. So he's going to be our survivalist. Uh, Jacobson was named Josef Norden. Uh, Yo, Josefu Nor Norudin. Apparently that's how you actually pronounce that. 
Um, in the original MSX2 version of Metal Gear 2, and his name and appearance were later changed in the re-release versions of the game. Alright. So, there there's a black kit with a baseball hat here, and I have no idea what he's doing there. Did you call him a black a, kid? I, I think it is, yeah. He's white. No, he's not. But yeah, I don't know who this kid is, so... Uh, they told us this is a bottomless swamp and it's too dangerous to get close, but... I saw a big truck driving through here. You believe me, right? Why is there a kid here? Well, well it's in Zanzibar, they don't allowed to have children. <laughs> that's true. Uh-oh. Snake, watch out, you're in a minefield. Who are you? I'm your number one fan. Keep up the good work. Okay, Gray Fox, thank you. <laughs> it's probably somebody else, but... Uh, so yeah, we're in a minefield and I don't have a mine detector, so... That's when you just run through it. Oh, <sighs> Throat? Why are we talking about Deep Throat in chat? Well, because he used the name Deep Throat for Mr. X. But yeah, so... Where would we find... Well, I guess we need to find one, because otherwise I can't get through there. <laughs> Shit. I think he used this boat in the first game, because when Olga uses X, he's like, oh, the one from Shadow Moses? Or it's the other Shadow one. Moses. So we can go in there. Shadow Moses. I must agree with Mayel, like, the music in this one isn't... amazing. No, it's not that great. Like... I, I find MG, MG1's music to be... Like, I would say, like, the gameplay in this is a lot more sophisticated, but, yeah. like, the audio is... not as good as it was. Yeah, and... Snake's Revenge actually has amazing music, in my opinion. Yeah, Snake's Revenge has really good music. I have two ideas. Either I can go in here, which I doubt. No, I have three ideas, actually. Four. Wow, I have a lot of ideas. Oh, this is getting dangerous now. So, either it's on the second floor to the left. Oh shit. <laughs> I knew I shouldn't <laughs> I have done it. Alert. Like, I, I was contemplating on what I should have done there. Yeah, it's, it's either, or you find like a, a quote-unquote map that shows you where to walk exactly in the swamp. But yeah, right now I'm just looking for the mine detector. I assume that's the next bit I have to do here. But yeah, there's a, the door on the left on... Is back again. God damn it. Um, there's that room on the left on the second floor, and then there's a room underneath the camera on the third floor, and there's still the fourth floor left I haven't been to. So. 
Yeah, you hit that high on mine. But if you call, uh, Holly tells you where the mine detector is if you're by the, by the minefield. Well, that would have been useful. <laughs> well, yeah, you gotta call people. <laughs> it says you're you number one. Start... Let's see you if can't she just start something. running around. No, that's just the thing she said. Okay. Uh, okay. You want me to tell you what she says in the codec? No, that's fine. Alright. I really wish I was able to tell where they are looking at. Uh-oh, that guy's coming here. That's not good. Okay, they shouldn't hear me from here, so... Let's see. Ah! Um, that's a pipe. The suppressor, okay. <laughs> That's a long suppressor. <laughs> yeah. Well, the gun was also, like, mega huge, so makes sense. So, yeah, this is not the mine detector, but <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> but we got a suppressor, that also helps. So, yeah, I'll go to three then. That's the size of the suppressor. I hate to see the size of this mine detector. <laughs> and, and how you're going to lug it around. in the bag there. Looks like a mouse, actually, for a computer. <laughs> yeah, it does, actually. The rocket launcher, yeah, that, that's like, that fills the screen. <laughs> Alright, is this thing on? Yeah, it's okay. <gasps> this is such a lame-assery! Here's the mine detector. Well, let me get out of here. Yeah, you can't see where those cameras are on your map, so it's, it's just a gamble, really, if you walk into a room and it's literally positions where you are. But yeah, we've got the mine detector, all is good, so. Yep. Easy peasy now. Oh, I'm sure of it. Gotta be a super easy game now. I mean, we're basically halfway done with the game now. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> We've only fought one one boss so far, halfway done with the game. Yeah. <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> <laughs> Mo, Mo has seven more bosses to fight. <laughs> and half of his codec to fill out. <laughs> you adapts. Can go down here. Some bummer. Yeah, plus like see we have one weapon out of I don't know how many. And this is also this also needs to be completely filled. Why it doesn't have to be. Gun goes a little further in this game. Shit. Of course, the moment I go around the corner, he's like, yep, I'm gonna turn now. You guys don't know I'm here. You guys know I'm here. Just get the fuck out of here. <laughs> 
going so well. This is going swimmingly right now. Mine detector. Oh, it shows it on the map, not on the actual screen. Dear, I <laughs> yep, that's not gonna happen either. <laughs> Did I pick up them? Oh, wait, I could have just crawled through here. <laughs> Come on, that's <laughs> that's so not fair. Why are, you, why are you alerting so many people? I literally go to the next screen and they're watching me. <laughs> Just sitting there waiting for you. Yeah, yeah, call, I know. <laughs> that singing sand imported all the way from Okinawa, Japan. It squeaks when you walk on it. This, oh, that's why. Oh. The sound will give your position away, so be careful. See ya. Man, well, thanks for full of this knowledge. Yeah, knowledge that comes after I'm already discovered. Well, you get a car. Like, oh, wow, look at this sand. Let me just call you quick, Holly, and let you... Let you tell me about the singing sand that <laughs> I didn't know about. What bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I think your rank is out of the question. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have no idea what his ranking is gonna be. It's slightly better than Crazy Awesome. Yes. <laughs> Dude, I swear to god if you turn around. There we go. There might have been items under those things. What is that? Uh oh. I feel like that is a boss. Boss boys. You get on against the running man. So I believe that's the second boss of the game. I think it's either uh, I think it's the running man. Maybe it's Red Blaster, I don't remember. Pretty sure it's a tank. It could be a high MD. It could be a high MD. What's a Russian gunship doing here? See, it's a high MD. <laughs> oh, <God>. What's <laughs> a Russian gunship doing here? Every time. Well, I don't really have anything to shoot down a helicopter with. Just to be clear. Did you already fight the running man? No. Did you skip the running man? Mm, yes, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Because high D is like... I, I'm really sure we're not supposed to be the... here yet, yeah. Yeah, high D is like halfway through the game. Yeah. Like I said, I don't have a weapon to take him out, so... No, you sure don't. <laughs> do I go then? Yeah, because you have to have the stinger rockets to shoot down the high D. Yeah. Alright, you guys see nothing. I said you guys see nothing! God I don't know. Damn it. These guys. Yeah, squeak, squeak. Excuse me. Well, I'll grab some mines while we're here. 
sure we can use them sometime. Or is it Claymore? No, it's just not. This crazy awesome is sleeping again. <laughs> he might be. He was pretty. He was up pretty late. <laughs> yeah. I mean, to be fair, I was too. But hey, kid. Like I didn't go to bed till like four. Woke up at eight. So <laughs> yeah. Let's put a save file here. And test yeah, out the swamp. <laughs> Cause like, we haven't had to use the gas mask yet, have we? I did, yeah. Oh, did you? Yeah, that's what I thought. You have to like, find your route. Through the swamp, but I believe there's an item that helps you with that. I'm not sure. Yeah, I, I, I want to say there is too, but I don't remember what it is. Like I mean, it's not like if you fall, you know, you're just going the uh, wrong way. So technically. Could just wing this. Yeah, I mean, you could just brute force it, but. Again, not sure if we even have to be here. <clears throat> well, this is an issue. <laughs> My plan failed! There's nowhere else to go here. Oh, wait. This is just where I came from. It's probably like a one pixel path here that I can't figure out now. Let's just return. Whoops. <laughs> I don't think I did in 2012. As you, like, it said zero zero zero, so I don't really think I played it. I loaded it up just to check it out. Like, nah. It's probably when I got the collection, yeah. yeah. I played three back then. Yeah. I platinum the, the game then. Um, so, yeah. I guess we're going back to the first building then because I have no clue where else to go. We haven't been to floor 4 yet, so that's the only thing I can think of right now. We're going to floor 4 then. I saw that the game control is on sale in Best Buy right now. 
which is totally useless for me, of course, because we don't have that store. That's a game I really want. What is it? I I've heard of it, but I've never even seen it or know what it is. Uh, well, we can't do anything on floor four, so shit. Um, it's based on SCP, if you know that. Like the the horror stories written by random people. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about now. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, so it's it's based on that, and it's also tied into the Alan Wake universe, quote, quote unquote. Oh, like they make I like things too. Uh, but I like Alan Wake. Yeah, uh, but it's not like Alan Wake. It's it's more like a third-person action game, but it's like literally investigating all of these very weird SCP stories. Um, it's interesting. Yeah, it's really cool, but. <clears throat> it's not on sale yet, but the first DLC came out today or yesterday, and everybody said it's like... It doesn't even feel like DLC, it feels like a full-fledged game again. Oh. I want that game, but it's uh, 60 euros everywhere. And the PS4 and Xbox version have some uh, performance issues. Sad. So, we're play so we're playing it on Steam. Yeah. Um, okay, yeah, uh, I don't know where to go. <laughs> so, let's see here, let's see if I can give you, oh god, it's this walkthrough is this insane. Um, because it has all the codec conversations. And That's weird. So you can now contact Johan. Oh, maybe I have to, no, but he's... Have you, weird. have you found Castler yet? No. That thing is sand imported from Okinawa, Japan. It squeaks when you walk on it. Yep. Crawl to get past the guards. In the southern truck are two ammo packs. In the northern truck has a ration. Yeah. Go the north, then north again, then north one more time to find a hind D taken off. Yeah. Get some cover and call Castler. What? <laughs> okay. Uh... Oh, I'm too far down. Hold on. Yeah, probably. I'm, like, it's it's so confusing to read through this right now. Cause we we haven't even talked to the Miller yet. Nope. What the hell? The last thing we did was talk to Mar. Uh, no, Matt Mar. Matt Mar, yeah. See, we had the Black Ninja fight. Da -da -da. Okay, here's some Madnar stuff. <laughs> I'm your number. Okay, so you have the number one fan in your codec. Yeah. Now. Equip the mine detector, crawl over the mines to pick them up, yep. go north, and enter the transceiver. This is thing you said. It says you should have Castler's thing by now. Weird. Because then it goes, let's see, leave the battlefield for now since you need Stinger missiles to fight the D, go south until you get to the forest again. Mm -hmm. There's a kid at the edge of the swamp. Yeah. They told us that this is a bottomless swamp, it's too dangerous to get close, saw so a big truck driving through here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's a path to the swamp where you won't sink. You just have to test each step before taking it. Oh. Once you know where the path is, it's so easy I, to remember. So I was doing it right. Yeah, the, I do have a I do have a map if you if you want it. Yeah, that's gonna that's gonna be better because otherwise the path takes you southwest, east, north, and east. There's another kid. Trucks come in and out of here all the time. Step into the swamp, get on the edge of the dry land, take the path. Uh, north to a small building, kill the guard, enter the door, and then the building, go through the north door, and then you'll meet Running Man. Yeah, so yeah, I was doing it correctly. I thought there was like an item that would have... I thought there was too. Helped I thought there was like gog goggles or something. Yeah. <clears throat> so I wasn't being a complete idiot, at least. I do not need any response from the shop. <laughs> no, your people want to, but no, <laughs> not having it. 
What is chat trying to do? I'll put him in place. <laughs> no, because I said I wasn't being an idiot for once. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Changed the rhyme a bit. Well, no, still not. I deemed it to uh, the Metal Gear. Yeah, I see it. This Discord. Oh yeah, I was walking the right way. Yeah, so we made it here last time. So now it's there, and then it's there. Oh, no, not yet. A little bit further. So, so far I was good. And here I started screwing up. No. No. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's so weird because in this walkthrough, like they've already mentioned Colonel Miller and Castler. Very weird. Yeah. Trucks come in and out of her all the time. Okay. Is there something in here? No, there is yeah. not. Uh, so we can take a look. Oh. Yeah, let's go north. There we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See, I think it's sometimes it's like literally one stone or whatever you want to. That guard sees you. He will not. <laughs> see, he's there. He can't see me. Alright, so we're in here. Where's the horse? Yeah, so if, if you go into that top door, it's running man. He's coming. <laughs> a visitor, what a pleasant surprise! I'm just in time too! I was about to go for a little run. I am Running Man, the world's fastest mercenary. No man can keep up with me. See for yourself. Oh, good thing I picked up all those mines, huh? Yep. That is a set pattern too. Band, band. What do you think? Oh, shit, I skipped it. Hear that sound? That's nerve gas. Defeat me before the gas gets to you, and you might survive. Block is ticking. Let the race begin. Well, it's a good thing we have a gas mask. Yeah, which doesn't last. Oh, it doesn't? No, it's just the oxygen gauge goes down less fast, but... Oh. Uh, so... Yeah. Okay, so let's put the mine there. Let's put the mine there. Let's put the mine there. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. One more. Got him. <laughs> yep. yeah, so he's over there. Before I step on my own mines. Oh, it looks like your oxygen tank refilled, though. Uh, it shut off, yeah. Y you 
used my speed again? I didn't use your speed against you, I just laid down freaking mines in front of you. Well, used the speed against him. <laughs> yeah, what, what's your name? Snake. Solid Snake. <laughs> what a st stupid bot yeah. reference there. Solid Snake. <laughs> Good. Yeah. That's solid. <laughs> snake? The cheetah has lost to a snake? How could this happen? Guess you weren't fast enough. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> that wasn't a good one liner. More like, guess you made a step in the wrong direction, or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Mind your step, but with M I N E D. See? <laughs> Those are a lot better one lighters. <laughs> Got car tree now. So, yeah, is Running Man a reference to the actual first book by Stephen King? Second movie, Running Man? I don't know if Running Man was out yet. Uh, well, this game came out, uh, it'd be close. 90, you yeah. know? Yeah. So, let's see here. Uh, Running Man was once a well-known short-distance runner who gained his fame during the Barcelona Olympics, in which he ran the 100-meter dash in 9.69 seconds. His athletic career was put to an end when he was caught doping and using steroids, and he became a mercenary afterwards. He was involved in terrorist activities through all of Europe, <laughs> He once served as a sub-leader to a French terrorist group and got his name from the German Special Police Force, SEK. In 1999, Running Man fought against Solid Snake in an armory building in Zanzibar Land during Operation Intrude F-014. After donning a gas mask, he released nerve gas throughout the building and challenged Snake to beat him before succumbing to the gas. Initially evading Snake's attacks, these Running Man's greatest asset was ultimately used against him after Snake placed landmines in his path while pursuing him around a uh, circuit route. Uh, after Snake told Running Man what his name was, Running Man, while on his deathbed, wondered how the cheetah could have lost to a snake. Snake simply replied that he wasn't fast enough. <laughs> um, behind the scenes stuff here. Let's see. Yep, this is so. His name is derived from Stephen of the same name, yep. which, which was adapted into a film, which was, um, and the Enfants Terribles uh, terrorist group, the Running Man, was once a member of. Is named in the MS2, MSX2 manual of Metal Gear 2. Uh, has no relation to the U.S. government project of the same name. Hmm. Uh, introduced in MGS 1. Although the MGS 4 database states that both probably drew their inspiration from uh, uh, Jean, Jean Cocteau's 1950 movie uh, Les Enfants Terra, Terra, whatever <laughs> French word. Les Enfants Terra, Yeah. Although he acted as a sub commander of the terrorist group, which was stated to be based in France. So. Okay. Yeah, cool. Yeah, if people don't know what Metal Gear Solid Database is, it's something you can download for free on PS3. Yep. Also, Hideo Kojima stated that Running Man is his favorite boss in the Metal Gear <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Fun fact, I have no idea why. Kinda but... odd, yeah. yeah. Sure. Uh, but yeah, I, I just know for a fact as well. But I don't know, nobody ever mentions this. I think I'm the only one who does. Um, but in Metal Gear Solid 3, Snake Eater, uh, fight, when you fight the Fury, it's literally the Fury from the Running Man movie. It's like the complete same aesthetic for a character. So, oh yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah, there's two kids in here again. <laughs> what is it with all these kids here? Uh, they took some to the... He was talking about the Stinger missile. Uh, they took some of the, to the factory on the west side of the Zanzibar building's first floor the other day. Um, said they were gonna put them on some tanks. Thanks a lot, kid. I hate people who <laughs> use guns.
So, yeah. I guess this was a... No, Wonder if there's something. Yes, no. Okay. Uh, the map is still present there, yeah. Oops. <laughs> this is annoying, actually. Never a fan of these types of uh, puzzles, I guess you could. And there's still a door we can't open here. So we have to come back here eventually, so I have to go all the way back through this stupid swamp. But now we can use some more doors in building one. Oh, and my health bar went up, I guess. This will be another boss. a bit of backtracking in this game. A lot more than in the first game, to be honest. There's also a door here that I still haven't been to yet. Oh! This, oh, shit. This might be the door we need. You don't see anything. Go! Stinger missiles. There are only six of them. Is that enough? Well, I can't replenish them, so I guess it should be enough. Get away! I screwed it all up. So yeah, let's hope uh, three, uh, six missiles is enough. Singing sand again. Yeah. Okay, he's gone. Oh, wow. Well, gone is a big word, but.
There weren't that many guys here before. <laughs> there. I'm hiding. You can't find me. I see you. Off screen, but on the No, why can't I get out of this? Uh. Oh, okay. How does this work? Not sure how this stinger works. Is there like a lock on it all or anything? Mm -hmm. Not that I can see. Oh! Well, now I'm out of rockets. Oh, and now I'm dead. That's even worse. <laughs> okay, weird. <laughs> Continue, yes. Where are we? Oh, we're right at the minefield, okay. the debris. I couldn't move. It was all <laughs> got seen. <laughs> that does not refill your missiles. Okay. Well, that's boss tree now, I guess. Yep. Not singing sand. I'm getting so mad. <laughs> you can all go. Hey, cardboard box. You need it, man. Best item in all of Metal Gear. Suck a big one. <laughs> I'm out of here. 
I watched how you got caught. That was pretty comical. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, Russian. I might have one of those. Nope, doesn't matter. I will get somewhere. Eventually. Where the... Then? <laughs> Weird. Kinda of weird how little weapons you find in this game. Like, at least not fast. Oh, call. You're good with the cargo box, right? Why not try posing as part of the cargo? Changing the frequency for our future communications. Why, though? The new frequency can be found in a photo in a software menu. God fucking... <laughs> Alright, what do we have to do here? Uh, Campbell's frequency. frequency. In a photo in the saw. Okay, well, I actually have the manual. I don't care if it's Jack. Yeah, that doesn't matter much. So you need a frequency. It's in a photo in the manual. Instructions. No, it doesn't show the manual. It's actually not in the, yeah. Big Boss also looks like Sean Connery in the manual, too. Right, I forgot about that. Madnar looks like Einstein. <laughs> Wonder if it's in the subsistence manual. Oh, but I have a French version. I mean, you just need a picture, so. Yeah, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna check if maybe. This video's long, Jesus. Why does it have three discs again? Man, this stinks. No wonder it, it's French, so. <laughs> yeah, it is actually smells like I don't know what, but no, oh, it doesn't smell good. It smells it smells like French. Yeah. Let's see. This is all snake eater. It's also snake eater. Chronology, sure. Persistence. Oh, Persistence has the monkey game on it. Oh, I found... Yeah, I like just. I know this is a French version of the game. And I like that. Even the box smells. Ah, Jesus. I, yeah, I don't know. It smells weird. But yeah, the subsistence manual doesn't have anything. Like, only the box and the manual are in French, like in games. Multi languages. It says, in, it says in the manual, not the box, right? In the manual, yeah. It might be the box, though. It might actually be the box. 
let me see, because I have the box. Well, not the actual box, but... I don't even know how expensive these games are, because I would love to have a copy of them, even though I don't yeah, have. Like, you know. Yeah, here's a picture of it, but I... I can't read it, it's too small. View image, yeah. Yeah, it is the back of the box that they mean. It, it is. I okay. think it's 145.1, but I'm not sure, but I'm gonna try. Metal Gear 2. It is not. Yeah, I can't oh, make go. I got a, I got a bit bigger version, it looks like this. Open tab. Things we do to put on entertainment for chat. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it's 5-2? No. Oh, no, I got it. It's, uh, 6-6. Six, 6-6? Six. Six, six? Oh, yeah. Wow. If you get in trouble, give McDonald Miller, Miller a call. There we go. McDonald, hey, McDonald Miller. Miller. He used to be our survival master. Good man, you know. He's also an idea man. Feel free to ask him anything. He'll help you think of a solution. His frequency is 140.38. There we go. I know someone named Miller. Yeah. He had a really good quote. <laughs> <laughs> You can drink your own saliva, but you never spit it out. The enemy can it's tell- true. What? What are you saying, Miller? Are you on drugs? The enemy can tell how tired you are by looking at saliva on the ground or on plants. They can even estimate how long ago you were there. So don't spit in public. It's a dangerous habit. Over and out. Thanks, Miller! <laughs> God, fuck. God, you're so good! Best character in Metal Gear. Freaking Miller. Best character in Metal Gear, hundred percent. Do I just use the box here and hope they see me? I don't remember. Well, can't you just shoot that guy and then go on the conveyor belt? I'm not sure, actually. <laughs> oh, I mean, you can move, you can move in the box, right? What's that? Don't shoot the box! Well. <laughs> Oh my god. This game has it out for me. Oh, what's that? Let me just shoot it quick and uh, make sure it's dead. <laughs> oh, that makes me happy. <laughs> oh, the conveyor belt stops. Everything. Yeah. Oh man. Not here. Alright. What's this? Pow, pow, pow. Yeah, it's just go on the <laughs> conveyor belt. Oh man, I'm playing Ghost Babble. Yep. Oh, another call. No, it's Holly. Snake, I'm in trouble. They discovered my identity and now I'm a prisoner. Help me. Great. Just when I finally managed to can contact Dr. Marv. Where are you? Give me your location. I don't know, I was blindfolded. Yes, useless. I think it's somewhere in the tower building. Oh yeah! Snake, I hear noises. Off to the left, I hear an elevator. And to the right, I hear a noise like a pump. There's water flowing in front of and behind me. Water in front and behind, a pump to the right and an elevator to the left. I think I've got a pretty good picture now. Snake, I don't think they know about my radio yet, but come quick, I'll be waiting. Stop using it then! <laughs> Before they have... Hurry. They don't know about it yet, but... They don't know I have this radio. <laughs> <laughs> I must say, I'm, I... Don't remember when Escape from uh, 
AAA is the first one, right? Came out, but some of the music in this game s sounds a bit like the soundtrack of that one. And I know it's like Snake is inspired by Pliskin anyway, so from this game onwards. Yeah. So it makes sense, maybe. I, yeah. It's probably already out by that this time. I love that movie. It's so good. This is a good tune. It's the first good song in the game. Yeah. but there's so many elevators here. One-eyed man is like our daddy. He doesn't like grown-ups. Who could it be? One-eyed man. You can go in there here. But it's Frank Blair. <laughs> like, come on. Weird, the weight limit on this elevator's been triggered. I don't see anybody here. <laughs> Snake, they're right next to you. Okay. You did see nothing. You did see nothing? That's a nice sentence. You did see nothing. <laughs> 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 It kind of works. Gurgle quest. Yep. No, I disagree. I highly disagree with that one. Oh, this is where you jump off with a glider. Which you, I think, do twice in this game. For some reason. So, what are these? Are they, uh, they're gonna kill me, aren't they? Wait, I don't know, walk over and find out. Oh! Well, I walked through it, so... It took me a few bumps, but... Oh, for fuck's sake! Can't you just look in that corner for five seconds and let me do my job? Well, I can go in here, of course. Ah, came all the way here for nothing. You gotta just keep on bumping. Are you losing health? Nope. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Whatever. Okay, so this is not where we need to be. So much is for a certain. Yeah, this part reminds me of Escape from LA. Yeah. 
Should have a Metal Gear that's just nothing but you get to play as Colonel Miller. <laughs> then when we took that Metal Gear quiz, I was really disappointed that I didn't get Miller. Yeah, but the, like I looked for a few of those Metal Gear quizzes and all of them are just rubbish. Like the questions don't even. They're just so what? random. Like. Well, it's funny because like you and Crazy got solid, right? Yeah. And I got liquid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is just taking me to the same place, isn't it? Probably. I like how you have 273 bullets for your gun, too. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, it's going higher, actually. Or stuff that twenty. Okay, thirty. See there. What's this? Trap. Red blaster. Uh oh. Oh snap. That's right. A trap clever enough to catch a fox, or should I say, a fox hound. I am Red Blaster, and you're not going anywhere. My grenades will see you. Do it, that you're dead is slow and painful. So yeah, I don't think I'm supposed to... Well... Again, like, I can just bump into me, so I'm not exactly sure. Yeah, I don't know what those are. I can I shoot him, though? I know. You don't have any grenades, do you? So I think you need grenades to fight them. Do you have to, like, lob them at him? Yeah, I can't go in here anywhere. Alright, that was fun. I'm glad <laughs> we did that. <laughs> I, don't, is he, I don't even know if he's supposed to be the next oh, I don't know. I have no idea. I think I had to go into that first elevator I came across instead of... Oh yeah, no, he uh... Walking all the way around. And I'm not gonna use the ration. Thank God for these 1999 elevators that take forever. They, they still take forever in 2020. <laughs> yeah. Well, they do have some of the elevators that are speedy, right? Like, I think. Not, not in Minnesota. <laughs> yeah, I, I think like for some of the towers in, at least in, uh, in Dubai, they have like because there's so many floors there, it's like super speedy. Well, that's Dubai, it's because yeah. they have a bunch of rich people. <laughs> <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking believable. <laughs> I like literally trying to do my best here to not get caught. <laughs> Maybe that's why this game doesn't have many or many speedrunners. <laughs> yeah. That makes sense. That person that was here yesterday is actually the world record holder for a lot of categories on Metal Gear. Metal Gear. Well now you're stuck in the elevator with me. See that see what you did? Idiot. <laughs> okay, maybe I should use a ration. Oh no, more kids! There used to be a veranda side of here, but the passage is buried now. Okay.
I need explosives. I don't know. Can I use a stinger? Probably not. <laughs> so what are we doing here? Like there's nowhere I can go in this place. Why did I come all the way here? Do I really have to go all the way back to building one? Because she got captured? Because there's literally nothing I can do here right now, I think. Let's see, I'll call some people. So, so where the kid said the one-eyed man is like our daddy, he doesn't like grown-ups? Yeah. It says, enter the room, red, for a ration, ammo, and plastic explosive. Huh. Exit the room and go west, enter the room four for three grenades. Go back to the elevator and go back to the floor. 1F. Well, but I don't have 4 yet, so... Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so, that's an issue. Oh, shit. I accidentally went back out of the elevator. Well, apparently there were plastic explosives after the hind defect as well. Did I... Can I, I can't leave this building because I came in through the conveyor belt. Right. Where was that kid? Wait, I know where that kid was. Wait, was it here? No, right? Mm -hmm. No, it was on the second one. <sighs> Suck it. Suck it, <laughs> Level 3 alert. No. So dumb. <laughs> so dumb. Uh, yeah, yeah. Every time they enter a room. Yeah. Not that well made, huh? <laughs> here for a minute for them to walk by. He's not here. Alright. So, let's see. I must have missed something there. Unless I need part 4 there, which I really don't have. Unless... There is a basement. Of course there is a basement. kids in the basement. Yeah, there's like a crow oh wow, there's a lot of kids in the basement. Yeah. Why is there so many kids in the basement? Well, where would you put kids otherwise? That's true. <laughs> Isn't that right, Mael? You can throw that kid on the mines right down there. There's some clear, clear the path. Hey. What I man told us to tell him if we saw a man wearing green clothes. The blonde lady says he isn't here. Yeah, we're definitely not wearing green green clothing at all. No. Uh, I wish there was a way to organize your inventory in this game. Yeah. I <laughs> know we're both Belgian. <laughs> That's what I thought. Uh, that's a box. That's not what I need. <laughs> the box will open the way. Uh, do I press button? No. Oh, okay. It doesn't go off on its own. Gotcha. Understood for future. There she is. Thanks, Snake. You saved me. Dot, dot, dot. What's... What, <laughs> what's wrong? I didn't think you'd be this pretty. Snake! 
Keep your snake in your pants. Man, snake to slay a pipe in every Metal Gear game. <laughs> yeah. What, you thought I'd be ugly? I should have met up with you sooner. Snake? <laughs> about Dr. Marv, I'm pretty sure he's okay. I don't care about Dr. Marv. <laughs> pretty sure. I thought you said you made contact. Well, I haven't actually met him. He's under our guard somewhere. But he sent a message by Carrier Pigeon. It might be some kind of clue. A pigeon? Where is it now? I found it, but it flew away just as I was about to catch it. So I'm heading up the elevator in the tower building. Torch roof. The bad guys are looking for it too. We have to find it before they do. It's our only clue to Dr. Mars' whereabouts. Pigeon hunt. What are you going to do? I'd only get in your way. I want to get her a little more info. I'm starting to like this place less and less. And then this happens. This keeps up, I'm really gonna let him have it. Yeah, and get caught again. <laughs> I see you've still got spirits, just don't do anything crazy. The enemy might be listening in, so let's change our fre Stop changing frequencies! It doesn't matter! 7 6, what? was it? Okay. Yeah, 147. <laughs> oh, and I made a copy of my IC card. It's card 4. Here, take it. See you later, Snake. Take care of yourself. Bye bye There you go. Holly! What? That's the kind of thing you would say to your boyfriend when you kiss him goodbye. What are you doing, Snake? <laughs> you are not James Bond. <laughs> Unbelievable, this guy. Then what, Snake? What should I say? Stay alive, and we'll meet again sometime. Yeah, that's that's fair. Yeah. <laughs> Stay alive. We'll meet again sometime. Um, deal. <laughs> Whatever. You're a weird, snake. Go away. <laughs> Creepo snake over here. All right, seven six, just to have it. Unless it's already registered. Right. Shit, I pressed it. <laughs> this isn't a good time to talk. Call me later, okay? Yeah, you were just creeping on me, so... <laughs> so give, give me a few moments here, Snake. Alright, I'm gonna head to the bathroom. I will, uh, I will return short. Oh, no! Twitch well, boss annoying. broke. Uh, bit boss broke, apparently. Oh, well. Oh. Wait, maybe I can... It says just recopy the link. Yeah, I can maybe do it with a refresh cache. Uh, yes, that worked. There we go. <laughs> Sometimes that happens. I don't know why. But yeah, I'll be right back. Uh, I do, yeah, I don't have that much of drink anymore, anyways. Better rep me one of those as well. But yeah, be right back. Oh, hello, chat. What, uh... What should we talk about? Oh, I'll give you some lore. Here we go, that's what I'll do. I'll give you all some lore. Alright. So this game takes place in 1999. Horrible. I did horrible really early on. Like, right, right when we first talked to her. I go find Holly again. There she is. Yeah, she basically just tells you where the pigeon's at, and she basically exposes Madnar to, to Snake. Basically, she tells us weaknesses, too. She's kind of like Jennifer was in Metal Gear 1. Uh, we'll never see her again in the series.
But, so this game takes place in 1999. Uh, the game was released in 1990. In 1990, De uh, Desert Storm was going on. Nope, she's alive. We just never interact with her ever again. Uh, so, the game takes place. Uh, there is a major world crisis derived from the lack of oil. In order to solve the problem, Dr. Marv develops a synthetic oil. Dr. Marv is kidnapped by the soldiers in Zanzibar land who want to hold the world hostage by gaining control of the synthetic oil. In order to prevent Dr. Marv from escaping or being rescued, uh, Zanzibar makes full use of Metal Gear uh, on his territory. Campbell is now head of Foxhound and sends Saw Snake on a mission to rescue Dr. Marv. Um, Snake then finds out that Big Boss survived during the events of 1995. Uh, well, it wasn't really Big Boss, it was Big Medic. And, uh, spoiler alert, Dr. Dr. Marv is... Uh, but on the other hand, Halo of the synthetic... So then, uh, Solid Snake and Gray Fox get into a fight, and Gray Fox is piloting Metal Gear R. Um, and then Snake and, and Fo uh, Gray Fox fight in a minefield, which you'll see later on in this game as well. Uh, Solid Snake, uh, uh, the time is so when this game was created, Solid Snake kills Gray Fox and is afterwards attacked by Big Boss. Gray Fox never dies. Gray Fox comes back in Metal Gear 1, where you have to fight him in front of Hal, and then he comes and saves you during the Metal Gear fight. Um, and then, right before dying, Big Boss reveals Solid Snake of being his father. The Patriots retrieve the body of Big Boss. Major Zero puts them into a cryogenic coma, uh, thanks to the use of nanomachines. Uh, his goal is to use Big Boss's genes to enhance performance uh, and skills of uh, future soldiers. And then Ocelot, not agreeing with the plan, starts to plot against Cypher. So. That's the Metal Gear 2 lore. You can tell they weren't thinking ahead. Because <laughs> Green Fox is not dying. Neo did the big boss in the first one here. Holly lore. We already had Holly lore. I told yeah. him the lore. Ugh. Here we go again. Always the last car to use. I sure am. Um, I don't know if I have to do anything more here, but let's look around, I guess. Oh! Oh, no! There's a current here. Oh, no! Well, that's a problem. Well, that one's pretty okay, <laughs> I guess. I was expecting worse. Oh, wow, wow, I did, like, no damage to you. Yeah. Um, hmm. I wonder, though. Those mines got replaced pretty quick, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-oh. No, that goes to a... What? I... Oh, no! Oh, <laughs> shit! Okay, now we're here. Oh, no. Okay, you can shoot these. What we're li- we're, we're, we're living- oh. Well, <laughs> not what I wanted, but <laughs> let's look around here while we're here. Hey, kid. The water in the ditch is freezing. You'll catch a cold if you stay. All oh, right. What? Can you shoot a kid? I'm not shooting a kid. <laughs> You know, but it could give you an extra life. <laughs> yeah, because that's how this game works. <laughs> with extra lives. Uh, no. No. Yes. 
Wait. Where the hell am I? Now I'm on B2. <laughs> Wait, what? There's a door. I do not like this. Wait, what is that? What, what, what's with the bags? Well, yeah, get that. It's useless. Uh oh. Oh, it's blue now. Yeah. Let's see if it's useless. Is just throw it away. I guess this is just trash. What is this place? I don't even remember this. Well, I don't know if what it said actually. Trying all the cars. Snake skin, but it's useless. Throw it away. Snake skin. Okay, I guess. Huh. Yeah. No idea what's going on here actually. So maybe something falls in later that we go pick up. I have no idea. Ooh, what's this? Hey, infrared goggles. Well, we found some. Is that a door or not? I don't know. It is. Okay. Oh, I don't know. Right. <laughs> this is one big building. Oh! <laughs> you just about got pitted right there, son. Oh my god, that was close. Emily with the rates! Thank you! Yo, Emily. At least those pits aren't the entire screen like they were in the first one. Yeah, I do not trust this place now. Now that I know there are pits, <laughs> it's, it's all over. Now that we know there Time to tap every pixel. Yep. Great fields. Hey, Emily. Hey, the listening. Yeah, I do not trust this at all anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, I kind of want to shoot. Why didn't you? you have 300 bullets. Yeah, but I accidentally ducked. Ooh, machine gun. Sup, machine Rep, gun. Rep. Oh, we're doing fantastic. Bo hasn't died yet. No, I died once. Oh, did you? Yeah. Uh, against the high MD because I. Hey, Nate! Alright. Well, we need those, so. What is this? RC missiles, okay. Jesus. Did I just find the mother load in this game? The mother load. Oh yeah, welcome everybody from Emily's channel. What were you playing? Horizon? Oh, well, we can't go in there yet, so. You dead. Of, of course. How did he notice you? I don't, I don't understand the vision of these guys. Seriously. 
Well, can go in here, so we found everything we can. Out of the elevator, just all sorts what? of fury. Oh! Okay, where are we? Si no, Siri. I know where we are. We're on the second floor. Yeah, we're all the way back in building one. Is there? I think there were. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Come on. Oh my god. Dude. Hey, there are rations here. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. I love the fact that you have to punch a button in order to, for it to do something. <laughs> yeah. So, I- uh oh. I assume we go back now. Well, you have, you have grenades now, right? Yeah. Yeah. And you can blow up that one wall now, too. Yeah. <clears throat> I wonder if there's something here. Or I'll go check it out. <clears throat> there is one other door here that we have never been to. Like here. No. Okay, so not yet, at least. Uh, yeah, this sure has been a journey so far. No idea what I'm doing. Oh! Ooh! Picked up red cart. What's that? A master cart that replaces one, two, three. Oh! See, now that is useful. Also a room we have never been to yet. But there's nothing here. Oh! I keep finding things that I think I don't need to... Now we're here! Well, great. <laughs> Shit! I'm all the way back here now. This is going well. This is going very well. Building to you? No. I fell down the trash compactor. <laughs> I 
but I found the red key card. Does that take over different doors? It uh, replaces one, two, and three. So I, I have a multi use one now. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. the green beret guy got you that time. Yep. Sure did. Not the red, but the green one. Alright, let's move our butts back. Uh oh. Well, thank god the cap of that water bottle was closed. <laughs> Otherwise I would have had a very wet chair. Close it again for future <laughs> mishaps. We're back at the sea, Sands. This is this is incredible. This is just incredible. Absolute insanity here. Stop! Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Shut up. <laughs> Just shut up with this. Gives a hide underneath that tree. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Ready to go back in here again. He's not here. Alright, we're back in the building. I'm not sure how far we are into the game at this point. Uh, I really don't know either. I think once you kill Red Blaster, we still still got a ways to go. Yeah, for sure. Because you supposed to go through Gustavo. I didn't mean to do that. Wait. What the hell? So this is not where we're supposed to be going? I think we're supposed to be killing Red Blaster now. Mm -hmm.
Alright, so... I guess we need the key card 5 for that then. I'm gonna see if this one goes to the basement as well. Just don't go in the water. That's <laughs> 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 I'm gonna end up at building one again. No, this one is not. I knew you were coming, you bastard. <laughs> not this time. There's gonna be another guy that sees me, I just know it. Well, let's see, can we go in here? No. They're gonna be across the screen behind three walls and still see you. Yep. Most stuff. Okay. Dude, I'm fat. No. Uh, I think it was the middle elevator. I don't remember. I think it was too. Oops. Okay, they're all dead, so nobody can find me now. That's what you think. <laughs> well, they respawned guys, that's for sure, but... Yeah, this takes you like to floor 25, wherever it was, 30. Yeah, 30. I have 30 grenades. Oh, easy. Easy peasy. That should be enough. Surprisingly stupidly easy. <laughs> that would have said any of these boss fights are hard. I don't know what that did, but... No, it opens All this right. door. Okay. So Red Blaster was a special... was... or specialized as Grenadier. Um, he was rushed. Uh, uh, it was part of Spetsnaz. So Red Blaster was an elite assassin who earned special operations degree from the Patrice Lumumba Lumumba University of the former Soviet Union. Uh, he once served as an explosives expert for Spetsnaz. Uh, his main fighting style involved laying a trap using trip wires mm -hmm. and then throwing his RKG-3 anti-tank grenades at the target uh, while hiding behind cover. Red Blaster fought against Solid Snake during Operation Intrude F-014 on uh, the 30th floor of the tower building. He ambushed Snake as he left the elevator with wired traps set up all over the room. These traps restricted his movement, leaving him open to attack by Blaster's grenades. However, Snake was able to outsmart him and a twist of irony defeated him using the same weapon type. <laughs> um, like other Zanzibar and Outer Heaven mercenaries, as well as many other characters from the Metal Gear canon, his name is referenced in MGS5 Phantom Pain as a possible word part for custom emblems. Hmm. This is the only appearance that he will make in the franchise, or even really be mentioned in the franchise. Yeah. <clears throat> Alright. The door to the roof is painted shut to prevent trespassers, but it's jury rigged, so you can probably blow it up pretty easily with plastic explosives. See ya. Later. <laughs> wow, 
plastic explosives. We got Bam! Easy this thing. There's the pigeon. Get the bird. I'm not sure how to do Well, if it's in like Assassin's Creed, you just walk up to it and stab it. Come here, Bert. Stupid bird. Oh, I have an idea. Jacobson. Sting. Stinger. Stinger. Yeah. That's a wood pigeon, <laughs> specially trained to act as a carrier pigeon. Did you know there are over 260 species of pigeon in the world? They're 40 centimeters long and are found from Europe all the way to South Asia. Dr. Mark probably brought, brought that one with him. Pigeons are timid and very sensitive to noise. If you get too close, they'll sense you and fly away. Yet, for all that, they're notorious gluttons. They feed mostly on grain. I got an idea. If you have some beans or potatoes, you can use them as bait. Just got a large order huh. of fries myself. Alright. Tough to find a burger stand out on a battlefield, huh? Over and out. Um... You got rations. I got rations, but... Your rations, I think, mean, so had different ingredients. Contains beans. There you go. Yeah, but how do I... What? Oh, there. No. <laughs> No. You scared it. It's sensitive to noise, remember? I know. Do I just sneak up on it? Yeah. Nope. I do not. Do you have a box? I have a box, but... The pigeon will never see you coming. Damn. I guess you gotta shoot it. What would you do if you time travel to 1990? I don't have to time travel, I've already experienced 1990. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> I do not know what to do here, though. No. I've already experienced and lived through 1990. I, I would have no to travel back there. Will you, Bert? I have no idea what I have to do. I'm looking. Like I have the rations, that's for sure, but. If I could go back, I wouldn't change anything, really. Because everything I did back then has gotten me to where I am right now. Which is probably not a lot, because I was only three back then. <laughs> so it just says here, equip ration B2 and get close to the pigeon when it lands. Yeah, I have it. On me. I wonder if you just have to be, like, under the shadow when it lands on the next screen. I doubt it, but... It says that you have to be close to it when it lands, I don't know. Yeah, if I... Be, if I am under him, he's just... Well, I mean, like, you have to, like, hang back a bit for it to not be scared, and then... Yeah, there we go. I did that like five times already, I think, but... But yeah, like I oh, said, I was I three in yeah, 1990. Three, three or four, yeah. <clears throat> There's a piece of paper tied to the pigeon's leg. Help! 
Wiss, Ohio, Kyo Marf. Only the H is in lowercase. Some kind of message from Dr. Marf? What could it mean? That's a good question, actually, because I have no idea. There, there call some people. Yeah, I, I already forgot what the message was. <laughs> Help with Ohio. I feel like that's a pretty common thing with this game is once you find something, call it literally your entire codec to figure out what the yeah, hell's going on. Probably. <clears throat> Pretty sure there's a spiral staircase between floors 10 and 20. It's kind of steep climb, but hey, you need the exercise. See ya. Well, that was useful. Oh, she called you fat. Oh, there we go. Wis Ohio, maybe Wis is short for Wisconsin and Ohio is Ohio. Yeah, no, Campbell. You the idiot. Campbell's an idiot. Ah. Names of US states, but I thought Dr. Marr had never been to the US. McDonald Miller might know something. Ah, there we go. Will Miller actually be useful for that? Miller's always useful. <laughs> Only the H is lowercase? Hmm, I've got it. It's a digital number. Is it? See what I'm getting at? Don't you, Snake? What? A digital number. So it's... Wiss... Oh... Is it like 140.010? No. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I... I... Yeah, I get it. Mm. I'm not good at things like this at all. It's a digital code. I don't know, maybe Miller has some other advice. Yeah, I don't know, I don't think so. She says, like, don't you get it? Try turning it upside down. Oh! Yeah. But, what? Five right, one right. M? Just five one, probably. Then. Yeah, yeah. Just what? One. What is the M? Oh, he uh, literally spells it out for you now. <laughs> yeah. The, I cannot so read that. That you have commanded a chicken jumpy or whatever. Yeah, is that I don't know. French? No, that is Spanish? No, that is no, some Russian. No, not even that I think. Well Unless they translate it, it's weird, but it's it's like like a Romanian language or something. What's he saying? I can't understand a word. Better ask Madnar. So it's probably Russian, but maybe they couldn't do the Russian letters. No, no idea. Oh, it's, uh... Yeah. Check. Yeah. Check in Slovakian. He's also the wary type, and especially so in his current predicament. What about you, Madnar? I can only speak Russian and English. Wait, I've got it. Gustava can speak to him. Gustava? Is that the STB woman who is protecting you? She'll be able to understand him, and Marv trusts her as well. Is this Gustava still alive? Not to worry, Gustav is no ordinary woman. She is a seasoned professional. When we were captured, CLO managed to steal an enemy uniform and escape. 
No doubt she's hiding somewhere inside Zanzibar land, waiting for her chance. Does she have a radio? No, it was taken away right after we were captured. The only thing I know is that she's wearing an enemy uniform. There must be some kind of clue I can use. Here's her clue, she's a woman! <laughs> Don't be fooled by her enemy disguise, there are no woman soldiers in this fortress. That's all you need to know. Stav is a woman. Why not set up an ambush someplace that only a woman would go? Like the ladies' restroom? Over and out. Oh, I wonder where we've dealt with that before. No idea. Definitely not Metal Gear Solid 1. Also, I have no idea where the bathrooms are here, so that's <laughs> that's great. Maybe they're color coordinated, blue and pink. I haven't come across one, but I have an idea. be funny if they played like a, a Muzak version of Snake here during these runs. <laughs> <laughs> of a long way. Yeah, I'll probably stop around the level. Nope, still can go in here. I would say you're probably around, or you're, you're approaching the halfway point. Yeah. Yeah, so if it's not here, I don't know. Like, I have no idea where there are bathrooms. So. No, it also doesn't open. I can go anywhere here. Weirdly enough. Oh yeah, this is where you jump off. I keep forgetting that. What is there? Oh yeah, no, no, never mind. What's there? Um, okay. I do have those. Hmm. 
Hmm. Now we're just here again. <clears throat> oh, okay. So, you, do you have key card four? Yeah. So, you remember the kid that says, I hate people who use guns? Yeah. You gotta go to him. What? And then it says, exit the room and go back to the elevators. Take the elevator to floor 4F. Go west, where you'll need key card 4. North, north, west, wait for the camera. South, then east, into the door with your red card. The one that says I don't like guns was where we fought the running man. Oh, really? Yeah. And there is a door on the other side of the swamp that I haven't been to yet. Well, I mean, it seems like it was pretty early on, because they do reference that mouse as well. Oh, alright. Yeah, so I was going the right way. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Kaboom. I went the wrong way. <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I am doing this by the way, but <sighs> Well now I can reach that no I still can how do you even Traverse through these things. You can reach this kid, but it's not gonna help me much. That kid's an idiot. No, like the one I meant said we shouldn't go against the current. He said you can see lots of new things if you just go along with the flow. <laughs> yeah, well, I was. <laughs> so, thank God I came all the way. We saw back a lot of a lot of new things there, mm -hmm. kid. I like how fast you just go down this water. Yeah. Well, that was not what I was trying to do, but... <laughs> what a game. What a video game. Think where am I again? Yeah, I know where I am. Okay. I think I got a cold though. How do you know if you have a cold? In the game? Yeah. Because of the That's water. what I said, I have. Well, right, but how do you know that you have a cold? Because I hear him sneezing the entire time, I think. Oh. It's gone now. Hey, here's the mouse. Pick, it, it actually is a mouse. Yeah. Okay. I thought it was like supposed to be a bag or something like that. Oh, but there's another mouse. What? Why do I have a mouse? A dummy robot used to disable noise mode. What? I have no idea. No idea. Hmm. 
here's another one. What's that one do? <laughs> Same. It's <laughs> just I think it's just ammo. Yeah, of course. Fun. <laughs> fun. <laughs> the game is fun. Ah, oh, damn it. Always with that bullshit. <laughs> it scared me. RC missiles. It's an open door. Mines. Yeah, yeah, what's gonna happen? Here's a little kit. I hate people who use go. Oh, this is another kit that says that. Gotcha. Okay, yeah, I think this is the kid that we need. Yeah, it's... So it's exit the room, and go back to the elevators. Yeah. Yeah, then we gotta go to floor four. There are some other rooms here that I haven't been to yet, though. I do wonder if there's... Like, anything... That I can get. Well, there's one room I haven't been to yet. Kinda wanna check. No, it's not this door, it's the Yes. Yes. Oh, I forgot there was a... <laughs> Get camered. Oh. Night vision. Which does nothing. Uh, I'm scared. Why doesn't this do anything? Is that, are, are those night vision goggles? Yeah. Are they? Oh no, infrared goggles, shit. Yeah, that's very different than yeah. night vision goggles. That's <laughs> not what we want then. Alright. Never mind, we'll go back to there later. At least we know where it is. See, you cannot... Well, thanks for turning off the lights here. But yeah, like, like there's nothing I could have done about that. Like, I don't understand... ...those things at all. Maybe I'm missing something, but... Something I have no idea. <clears throat> What do we have here? Get that. Can go in there. Can go in here, okay. I see a person there coming here. Oh, that's a camera. Let's check out this hallway first. This does look like a, a nice place that should have bathrooms. <laughs> okay, none of these doors open. Oh, I thought I could crawl under here. Probably need a new card or something. Yeah. Oh, this one opens. Oh, kid. Okay. The grown-ups always stand at attention when they hear the national anthem. It's one of their weird rules. So yeah, that was the national anthem of Zanzibar Land 10 that we heard in that one. Uh oh. Heard in that one. Okay.
outer door. Yeah. Little kids. Welcome back, my hell. There's only one bathroom here. It's on the southeast side of this floor, but I'm too scared to go there at night. Southeast, and we're at the west side, right? <laughs> we are. We are on the west. If you catch a cold, go to the infirmary and they'll give you some medicine. Well, maybe I don't have a cold, I don't know. Oh, crap. So, am I just missing the... Oh, oh boy. Yeah, you are. We were supposed to get the... a while back. Well, that's great. <laughs> I mean, you could probably... get through it. Then again, I don't know what I'm looking at. Well, this is just a room, but... Right. I mean, I don't know if there's a door, like a crawl space or something. Probably, huh? There's no walls to... Yeah, there might be a crawl space or something. Yup, there it is. There's a bunch of soldier mannequins in there. Okay. Oh shit. Stop. And where? Quit talking to her. Quit, quit talking to her. <laughs> I'm not trying to. I was looking for a door. <laughs> uh. Is there no door? What just happened? What? 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 How'd you die? I have no clue. <laughs> what was that? I just sank through the floor. Yeah, scared of the dark, apparently. What? Okay. Well, I can't do anything here because I don't have the... Yeah, I feel like the, the night vision goggles are going to be real handy. Yeah. Thank God I know where they are. Um... Do you? No. <laughs> oh. I'll go check that one room I know we haven't been to yet, but uh, if that's not it. I'll call it quits for this time at least. That was interesting to a way to die. Yeah, I have no idea what Just happened there. Magically get eaten by a floor. Maybe it makes sense once we see the light. <laughs> uh, once we see the room, but yeah, I have no idea what happened there. I wonder if it was a glitch or not. Because I was really just looking for the door. Even the kid what? ate you. Okay, come on! Sometimes it doesn't make sense that they see you. I will agree with that. I feel like the, the detection in this game is pretty, uh, pretty bad. Yeah. First out of bounds used to fuck me up, yeah. Felt like that. But I wasn't out of bounds, I was just in the room, but... You were just eaten by the floor. Yeah, weird shit. That is weird. So I'm gonna check out if it's this door, because that's the only thing I can think of where I haven't been. Oh. That's what I'm more so thinking too, is maybe it, we were just in the dark too long and it just killed you. Yeah, maybe. Kinda dumb, but... It is pretty dumb. Pokemon doesn't kill you if you go into Mount Moon with them. <laughs> yeah. I've never played Hide Light. I like shooting swords out of my eh, my cro <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm like walking all the way. Okay. 
two poops out of 20. Nice. I don't know what it is by heart, actually. Noted by me. Oh yeah, no, I do know what it is. I didn't, I didn't mind highlight all that much. Like, I had play it, but I didn't hate the game. Well, this door does open. Are they good in it? Where are we? <laughs> Time to fight Big Boss. Yeah, no clue where I am right now. But... Dude. Jesus Christ, sometimes. Alright, what is this? This is... This is just a transport truck to somewhere, isn't it? Probably. I wonder where it takes you. No, we're not even halfway through, my hell. Okay, you're set to go. <laughs> I love how he pushes you out. <laughs> oh, it just brings you back to... But what's the you... Huh? Oh. So, yeah, I'm assuming the night vision goggles will be in this place somewhere. Otherwise, I don't know. But, yeah, let's, uh... Let's save here for now, because, like, I'm completely lost and I'm getting way too tired to pay attention. Where's Crazy Awesome at? MGS2. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is he awake? Nope, he is still sleeping. Probably, yeah. If I didn't wake up at 7 this morning, I would continue, but I sadly did, for no reason whatsoever. Which is, like, earlier than when I would get up if I would have to work, which, like, really sucks. But yeah, yeah, I, went to bed at, I went to bed at, like, 3.30, 4 o'clock, woke up at 8. Yeah. Yeah. Fun times.